Good morning. My name's Neil, aka Mamba FPV, aka Make It Mamba. Um, so this is my camper. This is my Transit Custom that I'm just in the middle of converting. So if you want to find out how to insulate and carpet a camper van the professional way, stick with the video and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. What is good guys, I'm about to start this side, take all the panels off, so I just wanted you to see what I uncover, it's incredible. Alright, let's get to it. I'm basically going to be doing this over here today, and uncovering these awesome panels and pretty much a brand new van. So, uh, yeah, let's get some screws out. Oh my life, is changing every day. So not only do I now have a real nice surface to work on, but all my panels are ready to go. Um, I create space where this board was here. It was covering up quite a bit of space. So I've made about five inches in width now for my bed area, uh, which is incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to getting these panels off, um, start putting the insulation on. So uh, I'll be back with you in a second. No, I felt like this before, and now I'm feeling it even more because it came from you. So awesome, man. So, yeah, I got like it's a brand new van, it's just like working on a new van. Incredible, it's been well looked after. Um, it's had a new engine, it's had a new clutch, it's had a new drive shafts, which I'm already halfway through after a month, so. I think they're a bit dodgy, need them replacing. But yeah, it's like a brand new van, and then opening this up like this, and just getting to work on something so clean. It's just incredible. So yeah, let's get back to it. Four panels. I'm gonna cover all this in the silver stuff, same as this up here. Get all the internal panels done, all these internal panels done, and then I'm gonna fill all these cavities with um, foam plastic, um, recycled plastic insulation. So uh, yeah, let's go. Today's gonna be a mad day because all of this here, including that, is gonna look like that. So I've got a lot on my plate. Let's go, first time as well, guys. This just goes to show, you don't need to spend thousands of pounds if you've just got a little bit about you. Um, and yeah, sky's your limits, guys. Let's go. So for the initial panel insulation, I'm using um, the poppy, you know, bubble shit. So for the internal panels, I'm using the bubble wrap and it's foil on both sides. So it keeps the heat out and keeps the heat in, or you know what I mean. Um, so that's gonna go on all of the internal layers first. And then I'm gonna stuff all these big cavities full of insulation. Um, I don't think I'll need to cover the outer skins. Um, maybe on this section here where I can't get to it, um, but yeah, I'll try my best to stuff as much up as I can now. See how we get on.
so we are a couple of hours in and yet I've been, put some deadening panels uh, only timber because I'm using cheaper products uh, I'm not cutting corners as such I'm using stuff that I know works from research and all this stuff has got the same values as what you would put in a camper van I'm just using it um, just to keep myself within my budget uh, but yeah so I'm going to cover all of the exterior stuff that I'm going to see, all of these rails and all that shibui, all up to the roof like this. Uh, and then I'm going to get on to covering the panels which are over there. And yeah, so wish me luck. It's a big one, so I'm going to do this in one piece. Woo! on there, thaw all these cavities with insulation. Um, yeah, we've got this side to lay in now. I'm sweating. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay though, to be fair, because you don't need to worry about the glue going off because the glue needs to go off before you even stick it together, so it's been as long as you want it. But yeah, it's looking through. First bit done, I've just got to trim in the tops like I have there and cut them in so they're nice and flush and then as I've said get filling. in the afternoon or something like that. Started at 9am, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 5 hours, not bad, not bad. So I've just got the panels to do on this side and then jump onto that side door.
So I just got stuck into it and I forgot to press record on my time lapse. But yeah, it's looking sick. So clean and bright and cozy. So this is the next challenge. Wish me luck. So, I've got to say, that was the most difficult part. If I was going to do that again, I'd take the door off. I wouldn't take the door off. Don't take the door off. Please don't do that. It's not worth it. <laughs> my issue was with the door moving side to side and having to have it open, enough to get my hand round, but uh, yeah, it's gone really well, to be fair, sharp. I had a few little errors, but I managed to rectify them because of the stretch on the carpet. So if you do cut it, I don't know, five, 10 mil short, just cut it, you get another 30, 40 mil out of it. So it's really good stuff. So let's get onto these panels. Is it? I am extremely pleased. You know that came okay, out. So this here is actually got to come out as well, and I've got to put another panel over the top of this here. Um, but I'm not going to do that today because I'm too tired. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. But there will be another panel that fits nicely into this shelf. Um, just finish it. I'll give it a bit more detail. It's looking damn good. I'm going to get it cleaned out. Look at that. So impressed with myself today. Yeah, one day, guys. I done that quarter yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and the rest of it from the side door and all the way around to here. I done today, including all the insulation, uh, the foil back stuff, and as you've seen anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's just put your mind to it, guys. Do anything, anything. I thought the camera was on this side, but it's not. It's over there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get it cleaned out. I'm gonna get it cleaned out, and then I'll be back. And I am back. It's uh, it's tonight. Um, maybe four hours after I stopped recording the last clip. Um, but the bed's made, it was a difficult one to squeeze everything in and get the bed built and get all the garden cleaned up and all my shit packed away. Um, but yeah, it's a tough day. It's maybe 10.30 now, I'm just in the middle of doing the edit. Well, I'm just at the end of doing the edit. Um, so uh, yeah, this is the final clip. There you go. so much brighter and homely and oh, there's no echo in here everything's deadened and it's really nice um, I'm just going to sort out the bulkhead figure out what I'm going to do with that 
um, maybe I'll cover it um, in the same carpet or cut a window in there so I can just put a little blind on to let a little bit more light in when I need to um, but yeah overall I'm feeling pretty good so on Thursday in three days time all the electrics are going in so I've got the DC to DC um, charging unit with the solar output I've got the solar panel to go on the roof um, I'm changing the positioning of the inverter and also the battery which is just down underneath here um, so yeah all that's been done um, spotlights are going in too um, I've got some LED spotlights that are going to plug into the um, control unit uh, which is going uh, right on the top actually so I think it's going to be about there anyway and just so I can see it all, all the time I may even put it I may even, I might even put it over here on the side of something if I have a cupboard, I don't know. Uh, but I've left all this open so all the electrics can get done, lights can go in and then I can board all that out and jobs are good. And so I uh, hope you enjoyed watching that guys. Um, I'll be back when I get the electrics done I suppose. Thanks for watching. Yeah.